This is Point Atis, one of my favourite locations on the Great Ocean Road. I've shot a lot of sunrises here over the years, and I always tend to approach the location from the same way, from the beach. So this morning, I've decided to attempt to shoot this location from a viewpoint that I never have before. I've left my filters in the car, I'll be right back. Dang it. Got him. So yeah, up on the boardwalk here today at Point Addis. Didn't really feel like getting my feet wet today, so I thought I'd stick up here. And shoot something that I don't normally, don't normally go for, to be honest. Using sort of the boardwalk and the pier here as the real subject of what I'm shooting. I um, had a moment of panic as I got here because there was a guy standing right at the bottom of this little um, lookout that I wanted to shoot. So I actually got here, saw him standing there and then thought, screw it, I'm gonna have to go to the beach. So I just strode down to the beach. And as I parked at the beach, his car parked right next to mine, so he had left as well. So I drove back here again and now have the whole place to myself, which is awesome. There we go. So it's about 10 minutes away from the sun rising. Um, yeah, it's probably gonna be just a one shot kind of morning, I'm thinking, or at least one main shot. There's no cloud in the horizon at all, apart from right at the very bottom. So I don't think much color is gonna happen once the sun comes up. That's okay, because I think we're gonna get a little bit of cool orange glow as the sun pops over. So my shot is super simple this morning. Um, I've just got these steps here in the boardwalk using as a leading line up until Kind of like a, what would you call that? Pentagon shape? Octagon? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Six sides. Is that a pentagon? There's a shape at the end of this, a little lookout point, which is right in the middle of my frame. And then we've got probably the middle third of the frame is all the waves and the water happening out there. We've got the cliffs right up in the top. And once it pops through, the sun is going to be right. I think just barely in the right hand corner of the top of my frame. So if I expose that right, we might get some cool starbursts happening too. So in terms of settings for this kind of shot, the only thing that I'm really concerned about is having a pretty narrow aperture. So about f14 I'm working with at the moment um, because I do want to get some starbursts happening when the sun pops up. Having a narrow aperture will make that happen and you'll get those lines happening in the sun, hopefully. And then shutter speed, I'm happy with about one, two seconds or so. Um, yeah, I don't know anything super blurred because the water's not no, super noticeable anyway. It's a bit further off in the distance. And then I just want to expose the boardwalk so it's sort of a bit kind of shadowy and, mysteri shadowy and mysterious. And then as the sun pops through and sort of some gold mark hits, we'll, um, we'll see it light up a little more. So I'm changing my angle a little bit here too. Just to give me something different at the same time, as well as balancing the sun a little bit more from that shape at the end of the boardwalk where I've got shape on one diagonal and the sun on another diagonal and kind of getting some balance in the shot by doing that. It's a tricky photo to expose this one because the sun is super bright. I'm still nice and shadowy down here. So I'm probably going to end up having to bracket this a touch. So to do that, I'm just changing my shutter speed to get some shots for the horizon and the sky and then slowing my shutter speed down a little bit to get a shot I can use to um, blend in for the boardwalk. All right, I think that'll about do me for this first shot. I've got the whole boardwalk myself, so you might as well have a little bit more to wander. A bit further down it. But um, let's have a look at these photos on the screen first. So pretty happy with that first one. Um, we've got some real golden hour stuff going on right now so I think what I'm going to do for a change is put the tripod away and go handheld. So just going to leave my bag there, it should be okay. People around here are trustworthy, I think, I don't know. Never really met anyone from around here so I don't know why I said that. So this camera had a bit of a fall but I think we're okay. The only thing it's definitely broken is the clip on my Rode um, wireless microphone thingy. But that's okay, because I, I hate that thing anyway. Still, I think the audio is still working okay though. You guys will know by now. First thing that's jumping out at me is there's this guy surfing down there. 
which always looks interesting shooting a surfer. What I like to do with this camera too on my Z6 II is change my image area from FX full frame to DX crop, which gives me when I'm working with my 24 to 70 um, as my longer zoom, which I'm at the moment, it gives me a little bit of extra punch by cropping in to a crop sensor format pretty much. So giving me a bit of extra range, turning my 70 into a whatever 70 times 1.4 is. So I'm feeling pretty good about how the photos are turning out so far. I think I'm pretty much done for the morning. But before we go, I want to have a go at using this lens, which I haven't used much for landscapes yet. I'm renting it for something else, for some other, other sort of work that I do. But um, it's a 50mm f1.4, which I really am enjoying using for that sort of stuff. So why not give it a go for stuff like this where I'm shooting hand out anyway. So I'm opening this lens right up to 1.4 because why not? Let's have some fun around here. That means I'm going to have, a, going to, have to have a pretty or a super fast shutter speed to, um, to make sure the shot's not blown out. So we're just going to focus on surfer guy again. Even just the shrubs look really cool at 1.4. down to the end of the boardwalk actually. Why not? Well, I think that's going to be about all there is to it today. The um, wind's really picked up a bit. My hands are aching from the cold. And the vibe's got pretty harsh, as you can see, kidding me. So, um, yeah, that's going to be about it for today. It is July now. The year has gone by quick, and um, I'm wanting to do calendars again for next year, 2023 calendars. But um, I've only got about four photos from this year so far that I'm actually keen on to the point where I would want to put them in a calendar. So I'm going to have to go hard for the next few months, and. Um, Put in some early mornings, get some keepers, some photos worthy of the calendar. So that will probably mean more videos, more um, more photo adding. So stay tuned for those. Try to stop messing around and get a calendar done for next year. And uh, yeah, that's about all good to say this morning, guys. Thank you as always. I'll see you soon in the next video. Take it easy, and uh, yeah, see you soon.